Hi, everybody. It's Dee Slater with Create with Dee. Welcome to my weekly live. This is streaming both live on Facebook and YouTube. Welcome wherever you're at or if you're watching the replay. This is my replacement for my Wednesday night live at five. I had a planning meeting that um, went way over my anticipated amount. Um, but um, thanks for letting me reschedule. If you're on my Facebook um, page, Create with D, um, I had announced that and everything. Well, welcome. As you come on, I would love for you to say hi, whether it's um, you're happy to catch me live or, um, or the replay, either one, please comment and say hello. And today what we're gonna do is we're going to have a fun fold that's got a belly band that's the featured element on it. And um, on Facebook, I was calling it a Barbie inspired face, or a Barbie inspired fun fold. Um, I had seen the, the movie and I'm always about all things pink. Um, and so I've got my pink coffee cup ready to go. Hi Marge. And um, it's just always been a fun color that I have. And so I thought I'd just kind of get on the Barbie bandwagon and do that. Also on my Facebook, I kind of said, hey, you know, I'm gonna kind of impromptu at the end, um, make a Ken card um, using some certain bright colors. And so they, um, they kind of chimed in on which ones they wanted. So after that, so if you want to stay tuned afterwards and we'll make another version of this card. All right, let me turn the camera around and we'll get started making this really cute card. All right, um, so here's our card here today. Um, again, it's all inspired by the love of all things pink. And when we slide off the featured belly band, we have this type of a fun fold. So cute. I just absolutely love it. Um, you know, it's always um, nice to have those cards that are a little bit interactive, but look how pretty that is. Um, so if you have somebody that loves pink, this might be the card that you can make for them. Um, I'm featuring the bundle, Darling Details. It's got this um, almost like, I don't want to call it watercolor, but I kind of call it a cartoony um, floral stamp set and it's really a fun um, two-step stamping on it. And the bundle also comes with a bunch of Darling Detail dies, which you can make some really pretty, um, you know, just die cut elements, which we'll show those two. It's got this awesome border punch and these framed um, detailed that you can do with it. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll get started making this card. We are going to start with um, cards. The card base is going to be our um, bubble bath, and it is four and a fourth by 11. And ahead of time, I've scored it at two and three fourths and eight and a fourth. Um, this, um, all of the measurements will be on my blog later on this day, or later on today, Create with D. So if you want, you can just enjoy watching and then you can always refer back to my um, blog site for more um, measurements. All right, so it's almost like we made a gatefold, but we're going to turn it in the vertical orientation. Great, next we're going to take, oops, let me get my, this is from the um, Bright and Beautiful Designer Series Pack. Um, this is from, it's got all of the birthday balloons and the stars and things. It has this really pretty polka dot um, paper on it. So I thought definitely a Barbie paper. And we'll go ahead and we'll get that down. So this is a four by four. And um, what I like to do is we're going to cover this top section of it here. And so I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on the bottom. And I'm going to make sure to leave enough space around the edge for my, um, you know, the, the matting layer. And then on the top section, put some more liquid glue. Put that down. So this again is a four by four. We'll get that matted how we'd like it. Awesome. All right. 
Um, next, what I'm going to do is from the detail, the Darling Detail die. Oops, let me go get my brush here real quick. I started out with a piece of, um, I just had some scrap length of basic white um, paper, but it is one inch. I wanted you to see how long this border die is. Um, what ahead of time, I ran it through the die cutting machine and um, I like using um, this post-it um, removable label tape. It really helps hold it in place. And I'm not gonna put it on the end of my take your pick tool right now. I'm just gonna use this. And we're gonna, I like to keep the die on the paper when it has, when these detail dies, it helps poke everything out. See how pretty this is. Oh, look how beautiful that is. So if you like a little lacy border, this, um, you know, die in, has that in it. We're only going to need a four inch strip of this, but I wanted you to see how large of a detail that that really made. I'll go ahead and take this off. Move this away for just a little bit. All right, so then at this point, if there's anything left to, um, you know, to punch out, you'll want to do that. What I like to do is on these, I like to go ahead and um, die cut all of it out. And then what that allows me to do is to see um, like if there's any um, like full, like where I, the cutoff is on it, in other words. So I found that if I, um, on this one, four inches, I can start with this full um, like um, semicircle and it ends with this one here. Um, so that just happens to be four inches. So I'm going to just go like this, straight cut. You could take this over to your trimmer. And I'll just make sure, yep, that's the one. And I'm just going to fast. Um, but using that one inch strip here, um, I've got plenty of places to um, adjust the border on it where I'd like to. All right, so I'm going to put glue on what I'm going to call the front part of it because I'm going to put this behind. And do this. I'm going to have it so that the, the lace sticks out. Cute. Now, if you wanted to, you could just leave this here. But I wanted to kind of share with you that this paper is a six by six. So when I cut it, you know, I cut it first at four and then um, four again to get a four by four. But in doing so, you get this four by two extra piece. And I thought this would be perfect to um, put on the inside. And then we just can have that little continuation of our paper on the inside. So we'll go ahead and this can get glue all on it. Put liquid glue on it. And we'll put that on the inside of our Barbie themed inspired card. All right. All right, so that's, look how pretty that is. All right, let's do some stamping. Ahead of time, um, or not ahead of time, I should say. Um, we're gonna start with, and you know what, did I, let me cut this down just a little bit, it's a little big. There we go. <laughs> it's a two and three fourths by four piece of basic white. And we're going to stamp the background in our Darling Details stamp set. And like I said, it's a two-toned um, or a two-step process. And we're going to embrace the colors of our Barbie-inspired card of Bubble Bath and Berry Burst. So with the lighter color will be our background. Um, color and so I'm going to take one of the images here from the Darling Details and actually I'm going to grab a mat and stamp on that too just to give it some support on it. Let me put this underneath of the paper so I don't ink up my mat. 
and let's see, let's put one over here. So we're creating the background and put one here. Just random on it. And now I'm going to open up our very first. And this is the outline of that same image. And I'm going to stand up here just a little bit so I can see to line it up. This doesn't have to be perfect when you line it up. That's what is kind of fun about it. So if you're off just a little bit, it kind of adds to the coolness factor of it. So if you wanted to, you could almost do that on purpose. So cute. I love this stamp set. Um, if you, I know um, some of us may own a lot of floral images. This one's just a little, I think, different. And um, also in the set, there's another little kind of um, like, I don't call it a half flower, but kind of a half flower. And we're going to go ahead and use that image to do a little filler. And just to kind of get a different look in there. And we might as well, you know, embrace all of these images in this stamp set. It's super cute. I love it. All right, so now we have that. Okay, I'm gonna take a chance and leave those open <laughs> just for a second. All right, let me go ahead and, um, well, I've got this um, other um, frame image that is part of the die, of the Darling Details die. And so again, ahead of time, I um, ran it through the die cutting machine. And you actually get this really kind of cool layering piece that um, I'm not going to use today, but that would make a really neat label. Put that off to the side. And then kind of show you again what this looks like. You get this really pretty frame. And I'm going to bring in my mat again, or my foam pad. And this is where you can use your take your pick tool or your um, the accessory brush on it and do that. In fact, I'm going to get the take your pick tool now and I'm going to go ahead and poke out all of the other ones. Um, it actually does die cut, um, you know, does most of the work for you. There may be a little bit of um, ones that you have to do, but it's not a horrible one to do at all. So again, that's the cute little um, frame on it. And I think I can take this off here now. And we're going to layer this. We're just going to um, glue that down and make this really pretty little frame behind it. If you had a photo that you wanted to send somebody, look how cute that was. You could print one of your photos out of your phone and you have a little, um, little frame that you could make for um, whoever you might send the photo to. All right, so I'm going to grab my liquid glue. And I'm just going to go around the edges here. Make sure I got it all on there. How's everybody doing today? Seems um, I'm so used to our Wednesday nights so a Saturday morning. It's kind of fun. Come in here. Let's see. And I can trim that down. Looks like I got just a little bit off on the cutting here. So you can see that that's no big deal. We're just going to take our scissors and cut. I did start with the same size of um, bubble bath cardstock, two and three fourths by four. All right, so we have that layering piece ready to go. Um, next, what we're going to do is we're going to take the um, uh, inside. We'll go ahead and do the stamping on the inside of it. This. So we have a four by five and a quarter and on the inside of it, I'm going to stamp the word friend and look at that, did that in our berry burst and then for our sentiment that we have on the outside grab a scrap piece of basic white and again from the stamp set 
I'm going to use the hello there. And I'm going to stamp. Now I think I can close these up. I'm going to use the duo oval punch and we can punch out our sentiment. Line that up and hello there. Hi Linda, how's it going? All right, um, let me bring in um, our Barbie card one more time here. Um, what we um, have on here, it's like we're going to bling things up. These are some more um, dies that are in part of the, um, the de Darling Details die. And I'm going to bring in the Country Bouquet Heart Punch that we have here as well. The paper that I'm going to use for that is the subtles it's called soft shimmer um soft shimmer pack it has our bubble bath and our berry burst in it but also in that pack of soft shimmer paper you also get night of navy lost lagoon and what was the other one here um pretty peacock so you know it's a nice assorted pack of glimmer paper and i'm going to Embrace this with our Barbie theme here. All right, so back with our duo, our duo, dual oval punch. I'm going to go ahead and punch a layering piece out of the Berry Burst shimmer paper. And while I have that, I'm gonna get our Country Bouquet heart punch. And we'll get those punched. And then we'll be ready to get all of this put together. And also, I'm going to punch a set of hearts out of the, um, the bubble bath. Okay. So let's get all of our rest of our pieces here. So um, I like using dimensionals when I put things onto our um, shimmer paper. That or tear and tape for me seems like it works the best. Okay, we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna go ahead, I don't need the leaves on this. I might use those for something else. Take those out, we'll put our little hearts off to the side. And get something else here real quick. Got um, my, another piece of one by 11 piece of basic white cardstock and we've got to put the belly band um, we've got to create that and so I like using tear and tape because I'm going to put ribbon down the center of it I'll make it so cute so I just put the tear and tape down first get that down And then from the Sheer Ribbon Combo Pack, it's got the bubble bath, um, the bubble bath ribbon in that. And we'll get this started. We'll take this off. Hi, Carol. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll take this off. And put this down. Oops. So I kind of just stretch her out. Put one end down, overhang it just a little bit, and put the other one down, and we can take our snips and then trim off the edges. So now we have a really Barbie-inspired belly band. And we'll take our um, tear and tape again. Oh, but before we do this, we'll go ahead and I'm gonna slightly Use my bone folder to break down the fiber. Kind of just helps it wrap around a little bit. Okay, I think we have all of our fun elements now for our Barbie inspired card. All right, so let's go ahead and let's put down, whoops, where is my inside that I had? I can lose things in about two seconds. All right, so here's our inside. That was four by five and a fourth. 
and I stamped it with one of the sentiments from the set that says friend. And we'll go ahead and layer that inside. All right, next we wanna put the belly band on and I'm gonna put tear and tape on the outside of one end and the inside of the other. All right, I'm gonna take this, take that one that I put on the outside off here first. Do this. All right, so again, we kind of used our bone folder and um, kind of broke down that um, fiber so that it's a little more um, forgiving on that. Let me just kind of put this this way. I want to make it so that the this end meets, you know, about in the center. So we want it a little, I don't want to say like, we don't want it so tight so that we can't take the card off, but we want it um, tight enough where it's kind of, you know, a little loose, but not too loose. Okay, so that side's down and I'm going to take this off. You could probably do both of them off at the same time. And then just line that up. And we put the seam in the middle because that way we're going to cover it with our focal point and then you don't see the seam on the back side of it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and we'll get the focal point put down with some of our dimensionals again. I'm going to put dimensionals right on to the belly band. We don't want any adhesive on here um, because we don't want it to, um, we don't want it to stick to the card front. So I'm going to put two and two and it's, you know, two inches. So like you can go ahead and put some more, put one here, one here, just kind of give it a nice support. Maybe you don't need six of those, but I just like to have a nice and supported. Okay. And so now we just want to, um, center the band you can put it over the where the two halves meet in the center and then center our focal point Alrighty. ahead of time um, with that same shimmer paper i um, die cut out these floral um, images and you can always take, I should, I'm on purpose, I left some of the little poke outs there so that you can see, you can just take your, take your pick tool and get those out. Um, sometimes um, if our cutting plates are a little warped, you may need to put it front and back, like to roll it through and then roll it back just to get that, um, make sure that you have a cut. And mine are needing replaced and every time I place an order, I forget to add it to it. <laughs> I've got to get that on for the next one. Mine are getting a little too warped. All right. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of these down here, and you can use either a fine tip glue pen or your, um, your liquid glue. I'm going to go ahead and do a little just liquid glue, just kind of very lightly pressing it so that I don't get a bunch of globs out, just enough to get the a little bit there. And we're going to put that down. And then I'm going to take this one, this nice and airy one, and do the same thing. I can um, get some of the larger ones, or the larger open areas now. All of those are going to get put down. Do that. And I'm going to put this one off to the side a little bit. Okay, um, let's go ahead and we can add our hello. Whoops, and I meant to do that out of um, the bubble bath, but we just have two different looks here and that'll be just fine. I always like to try to maybe layer the, um, layer it with a different color, but this will just show us two different looks. What I like about that um, subtle shimmer paper is that you do get five colors in it. 
put that down. Now let's go ahead, since we have the berry on this one, we'll put the pink heart behind it. And um, I'm going to put a dimensional on the larger or the back side of the larger part of the heart or what would be the left side of it. I can tuck that in. So cute. Um, we're almost done with this card, but we've got these extra punches and I'll show you what we can do with that. Um, I'm going to make a quick bow. If you guys know me, you know I like my bow maker. On that, you can find those online. I just like it because my bows get uniform this way. And sometimes when I do, oops, when I do them in the, what do I want to say? They don't always... Um, come out the same size and sometimes on camera I can't figure out <laughs> which way to go. So I'll just make this real quick. So if you struggle with bows, that's a great tool to have on that. I've got a video on how to how to make a how to use your bow maker. And I'll go ahead and get um, my glue dots. Put one here and put that off to the side. Do that. Okay, so um, so that's the card, but we have these extra hearts that we have left over. And so I thought, well, let's go ahead and we might as well use them and we can put those on the inside. So here's friend. I'm going to go ahead and just glue that down. And then we have one last thing to put on it and we're going to put on a little more bling and we're going to put bling on the inside of it as well. So this is from the, um, the sequence back trio. You get three colors. You get a clear, a peacock or could be a spruce and then the pink tone here and we're going to go ahead and put a little bling on the inside and then let's go ahead and we'll close it up and then let's put a little more razzle dazzle on the in, or the um, the card front as well and I'm going to grab some of the clear just to the clear just does a great job of kind of catching the light on it. And let's go ahead and we'll put some on either side of our hello. All right. And that is our Barbie inspired um, fun fold that has a belly band on it. Um, I hope that you like this. We are going to make another card and I'm going to call it the Ken inspired card. Um, but if you um, like this, I would appreciate a thumbs up, um, a like if you're on YouTube, a heart if you're on Facebook. Um, just let me know if you like that. I would really appreciate that. All right. So that was Barbie. Now let's do Ken. If you've seen the movie, um, everything is all about happy and bright colors. And so on Facebook, what I did is I gave, um, you know, I gave my followers, I said, hey, you know, here's three really bright colors. Um, thanks, Joni. I'm glad you like it. Um, and what they um, chose was a lemon line twist and Tahitian tie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, um, this is just like, I just cut these on the fly here today. And I'm actually going to use for our Ken card, I'm going to use the same Darling Details um, stamp set. Okay, so just like before, we have a four and a fourth by 11 piece of cardstock. This one's our lemon line twist. And from the Brights Collection Designer Series paper, I cut a four by four. And we'll do the same thing here that we did before. I'm going to put some glue right down on the base of it, kind of come up, leaving room for borders. I'm going to use this side. Here, we're gonna put some on the top half of our four by four. Put 
that down. I'm kind of getting some of the pieces off of my, my work table here ahead of time. Um, I just wanted to show too that you don't, um, if you don't have, um, you don't always have to do the fancy borders. Of course it's cute, but I thought I would just show a uh, one inch by four piece of um, cardstock. Oops, and I didn't even cut that right. That's just a little crooked. Well, I'm gonna uncrooked it here. So what I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and do this and I'll just snip it. I guess I measurement challenged here this morning. And we can do this. Whoops. Make sure that it's. And that just kind of brings in a secondary color. And let's go ahead and I'll just snip this straight. All right. And for our Tahitian Tide, what I did is I took a die cut piece of the nested essentials dies, and this will be our layering piece. And on this one, um, I'm not gonna do a belly band. Just thought I'd show you how you can make this another fun fold. And I just wanna make sure I don't have that going over. Love this bright color combination. All right, so here's our inside and our focal point. And let's see here, we'll do this. Closing up a few things here. All right, let's get our um, lemon lime twist and our Tahitian Tide. These are from the Brights collection. And this time what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, have this leaf image here and we're going to use um, just a note, or we'll do the happy birthday on it. So I just kind of thought we would have um, some fun with um, showing some different looks to it, some different colors. And then I do have one last card to show. Um, it's not on the kind of the theme of the day here, but um, it would be, what do I say? Um, it's still the same layout with the belly band. Let's do happy birthday in Tahitian Tide. And then I'm gonna grab this kind of um, fern image, so to speak, or this leaf image. And I'll kind of show you a stamp off technique here. We'll use our lemon lime twist. Oops, that's the outline. Get the inside one. Putting all of my stamps off to the side here. All right, so I'm going to do a stamp off technique. We'll do stamp off. I want to take a layer of it off and then we'll just kind of put one of those here. I just am going to make a really super subtle background with that one. And then I think I want, I'm going to grab the other one. I want the kind of the ferny looking one for the, for the veins on it. So this is almost like mystery stamping. <laughs> All right. So I'll do this. And this. Look how fun that is. I like that. Okay, so then we can do the same thing. Um, let's see, we have happy birthday. Um, I think we'll just leave it blank on the inside. And let's see, we'll do that same thing again. Go ahead and just so we have some coordinating elements in there. Oops, I did that full on. We'll just do tone on tone. Almost like that, a little better. Okay, so we'll do this. And this is our inside.
if um, you have seen the movie, um, it's actually quite an empowering um, movie. I had heard it was really good and um, I so enjoyed it. My sister and I went and I wasn't even thinking, but um, well, and she invited a friend. So there was three of us that went to it and they all came dressed in pink. And I'm like, what in the world? I wasn't even like part of that whole thought process to have on a pink top or whatever. I would have gotten so into the whole um, movie going experience on it. I won't tell you um, the line, but there's like a monologue in there that kind of just is awesome. Oh my gosh. I love that card. Probably should have scooted that up just a tad. All right, so in the, um, this is actually some of the in colors. This is the 2022-24 in colors. And um, what I liked about this, this is, these are not exactly those colors, but they're super close. And so I'm gonna go ahead and um, make a, make another bow here. I'm going to put both of these um, threads on at the same time. So this is um, the Parakeet Party and I'm losing it on the other name right at the moment. <laughs> oh, I think that is Tahitian Tide on that one. Okay, so we've got our little color here. Let's get our glue dots out again. And of course you could make a belly band for this, but I wanted to really showcase a card that um, if you had like the, some of the collections there that um, it, you wouldn't need the kitchen sink to make it. Oh my gosh, I hope you really like that. Yes, I love these colors together. They're bright, 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 bright. So let's just call this our Barbie and Ken um, inspired colors here today. Um, let me go ahead and I'll turn the camera around. Alrighty, so I hope you, um, like you can take anything um, to kind of help get your creative juices going. Um, I just had fun with the, the Barbie and the, and the Ken to help us with some, um, some fun new colors. And thank all of you guys on Facebook that, um, you know, kind of gave your vote. It was a little bit last minute, but I appreciate it. Um, I did um, tell you I would share one more card um, inspiration. This is from the um, Countryside Inn designer paper. And that, and that suite of products from the annual catalog. And oops, let's get that out. So that one's just kind of a blank note card. So it's a really fun layout, I think, um, you know, and of course, like anytime that you can send somebody a card that's a little interactive, it just, they just hang on to it a little bit and you put so much love into what you made for them. Um, you know, just again, make it so that it's just even more of a little present. You're kind of unwrapping the card. Well, thank you guys for one, um, being understanding and letting me um, reschedule my traditional time of the lives. And also, um, if you, again, I um, would appreciate a thumbs up, a comment, a like. And if you haven't already, please, please, please follow me on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I so appreciate you guys for being here today or watching the replay. You guys have a great, great weekend and happy crafting. Bye-bye.